So my collector tips part 3 video has been going viral recently and one of the most common questions I got was how do I determine the value of my Hot Wheels cars? So what's up guys, it's your boy Jutti here and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you love Hot Wheels, Tommy Car Matchbox and I guess cars. It's a boy Jifter, Filipino po ako na collector na nakatira sa Singapore. I'm a Filipino Singaporean collector lah for those who don't know. Yes, as I'm a collector of Hot Wheels and I guess cars, how to tell the value of the cars. So to put it simply, just go to eBay and see the, how much the cars are going for. And that's it for today's video. There you have it. There's your answer. No, I'm just kidding. So that's pretty much it. Honestly, all you have to do is just go to eBay or Carousel or Amazon or any like for sale websites and see how much other people are selling it for. You can look at it two ways though. One of the ways is by looking at the sold listing. So for example, you have this uh, McLaren uh, car right here. So you want to see the sold listings of the car through the settings and you want to see how much it has been selling for. So this way where you can tell the buyer how much you want to sell it for, you can tell yo like this has been selling for 3 or 4 dollars so I'm selling it for 3 or 4 dollars as well. Another way you can look at it is by looking at the current listings. So for example, this uh, car sold for $4. But you can see that the current listings, the available listings, is going for $7. You can also argue that, hey, some people are selling it for $7. So if you want to get it from me, you'll get it. You'll have, you'll have to get it for $7 as well because other people are selling it for $7. Once again, by going through eBay or Amazon and all these things, these are just rough indicators. I think they're pretty good indicators lah, to roughly determine how much a collection. But there are two factors I feel that affects the value of the car. Firstly is where you live and second is how much the car means to you. Obviously if you're a collector from India, from Indonesia, from Belgium, man, oh, shout out to y'all, price of that one single car can vary differently because maybe some countries got less uh, variance or lesser in quantity for those cars so it might be more expensive while if for example if you live in the usa i i swear to god i see vlogs of y'all going to walmart all the time you can find this car easily while on the other hand in singapore if you find this car it's almost as good as finding like a super treasure you know places like she love cars at tangdin shopping center or like the hive at lavender mrt I, I stopped pack hunting already. The second factor is also your sentimental value lah. Like let's admit it, not a lot of collectors are into muscle cars, especially for Hot Wheels. So for example, this super treasure hunt, uh, it might it might be going for let's say 40 Singapore dollars loose. But maybe yeah, just for example, but, but I feel like I love this car. I'm a huge muscle car fan, you know? And currently on eBay, it's going for like 45, 50 dollars. So by selling it for 40 dollars, it's quite a steal. But because sentimentally, I feel like this car is worth more to me, I'll try not to sell it for $40 lah, I might sell it for $50 instead. Yes, other people might not find it, might not find the price fair. Like, hey, why $50? It's a bit expensive. Ah. If you're only willing to let it go at $50, then so be it. You don't have to listen to how much, you don't have to follow how much other people are selling it on eBay or Amazon. If you want to sell it at a slightly higher price because you like the car a little bit more, then so be it. Who knows, maybe eventually the other listings will be sold until your listings, your listing becomes the lowest price and people will get it from you at your asking price then good for you you managed to sell it for a few dollars more so yeah i hope this video helps once again just check online compare your prices online to roughly determine the price of your car but once again depending on the country and how much the car means to you the value can vary different i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tip video hope this guys uh, hope this video helps your collectors out if you all have any questions uh, please ask them below i'll try my best to answer them uh, thank you for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye